Behind every pregnant woman is a stronger woman because her husband is useless. I tell the haters, ooh, sigh, because no one has time for poor breathing technique. They call me the Scotty Pippen of childbirth because I give the ultimate assist. <sighs> okay, remember the first step of our birth plan. Let go of the birth plan because the baby is going to do what the baby wants to do. Wow, this kid is already controlling our life. Not now. We don't need that toxic energy present in this space. Yes. Take that toxic energy elsewhere. Take that toxic energy elsewhere because this baby is not coming out of your vagina. Hello, team baby. Um, I know I said let go of the birthing plan, but there are some things that are not in the plan, like harmony. What can I say? I know how to make an entrance and set a positive tone to the room for the birth. I don't know if the same can be said for Lyra. Harmony. Okay, did my husband tell you that we decided to double up on the midwife just so that we had all areas of the room covered? Uh. Right, yes, I totally did that and I did not forget. Oh my god, totally. I love that. Trying to bring all the good vibes we can. Namaste my ass. I cannot work with Harmony. I'm so excited to be on this amazing final excursion on this trip we call childbirth. Did you see her face? <laughs> now saying that, <laughs> Gave me some positive birth vibes. <laughs> I wasn't there because no one thought to invite Michelle because you have one little accident with an umbilical cord. But if that mother's water didn't already break, the goddamn tension in the room would have made that belly pop. Um, I've been told I'm really bad at reading the room, but am I sensing that you two don't really like each other? No! We work together all the time. Really? I gotta deal with Harmony and this dimwit? Yes. Some may even say I taught Lyra everything she knows about the beauty of childbirth. Isn't that right? Oh, she's saying that because we went to the same midwifery school. No one is superior to the other. Midwifery school? Got it. That's the look that means shut the hell up and face the corner. Great, I'm glad we all settled that, but while we were discussing our personal histories, I think... Yeah, I think that's the baby's head. Baby time! <sighs> oh, so do you need me, or should I stay in this corner? When I heard, because like I said, I wasn't invited because you forget to cut one little umbilical cord one time, and the child is attached to its mother for the rest of its life, Anyway, when I heard those two mofos had to deliver a baby together, ooh, I had to sage my own apartment to get rid of those bad vibes. Okay, now I'm going to count down to three, and I want you to push on one. Are you sure we shouldn't have her count down from three and have her push when you say push? But I am not saying push. I think you should. Ladies, it's done. I had the baby. You need the umbilical cord cut? Because I can do bit. <laughs>